Greetings to Mfundisi Nabakokeli Abakona Lapana Mshanje. It is my joy and privilege this morning to welcome you back to this century after so many months of being away. We also, I also want to greet every member of Bethesda that are joining us online this morning for this first worship after the lockdown. Thank you for joining us from home and also for those leaders that have been able to come and join us here. We are beginning a journey of phasing in things. Um, some of the things that we're phasing in is some of the work that happens through our office. So there will be times you are able, be able to conduct the office. We're then looking at phasing in worship. So as of today, we will be here today and Tomorrow, our COVID task team will meet and help us begin to think through what the next phases of our worship is. And then you will be informed as to when is the big day to worship. Welcome to level one of the lockdown and welcome to a, a, an increased number of people that can join for worship. So at, when the time comes, please feel free to worship with us and come and join us in this place. It's a joy to also welcome Mbundisi um, for this morning, who is going to lead our first service. So I like this kindly to hope and to all of the things that God can unfold from this moment as we move into this next phase of our worship life together. In the justice for the oppressed, 
and the unexpected generosity for the lost. And the promises made to all, and the mercy offered to each. We then begin our services.
promises are forgiven. Be at peace. And we see the Lord in prayer.
and that used to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, in the evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt. And in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against you. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, you will know that it was the Lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because he has heard your grumbling against you. Who are we? You are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses told Aaron, say to the entire Israelite community, come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked toward the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. He is with a tip of it. Then he was a man who was scared to have some news from the Lord to die on, but he was not a man who was 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 a man.
congregation may be seated. We are called to look back as we change the world. We realize that in this junction, we all look up and the loss of something, but we had lost during this period. Whether we had lost a loved one, a loss of finances or financial security, a loss of a job, a loss of peace, a loss of understanding of the world. But one way or the other, as we look back, journey forward, we grieve the loss of suffering. Many people have dealt with the sensitivities of contracting the virus. Some have been engulfed by anxiety and different emotions during this time, confused about the future. Of course, we could not take the state of disruption that seemed so sudden for us without asking for any opinion from anyone. Everything that we know or we knew to be normal just seemed to change. And so we look at that and we look at where we are. I'm also aware from the cinema course that we are in a season of a season which calls us to pause and reflect, giving gratitude to God. This photo, this palace, this city, this city, this great zone, holy land. The Sunday, therefore, the lectionary takes us to the Old Testament reading, the Book of Exodus. Scripture that speaks about part of the journey of the Israelites as they moved from the land of Egypt into the promised land. And today, allow me therefore to give my message under the theme God's ultimate providence. Let's move back and journey forward. Allow me to speak about God's ultimate providence. Can I just come down and make sure the distance away from me? It is when God appointed Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt that God instituted his plan. Amongst the Israelites that were oppressed in the land of Egypt, which is what I want us to get first, amongst those Israelites there were people who were grown enough, people who were mature enough to understand that they were being oppressed and they needed to be out of that situation. And so, Uhuza Moses was warmly welcomed by such people. Amongst the people who were in Egypt were also people who, even when being slaves, were somehow used to that life of an appeal, such that they were anxious of what the future may hold, and therefore, Probably not accepting because moving from where they were, the members of the journey, for that matter. And so there were those who were kind of reluctant about it. And again, amongst 
amongst the nation of Israel that was in Egypt. There were also Abanyabahu who were born into that land of slavery. Abazale Rakuyo Leon Pilo and so Bakula in Pilo, Ilenko Iyo, and therefore knew no other. But then of course, the good who go no Leno and the bed later because Bakula and Puyo, Bazale Rakuyo, and so they knew no other alternative. And so now the Kusa Kamos is meant something to them. But Wogalina Lukatiko, Yem the Kageta Shalati, who tell Thomas in Billy's Kalosabo came down and used Moses Mobis or Luan Mose. Which never came in the Lerula, but eventually, God would be over bodies and over by hand and show them the roots that they needed to take. We are told in chapter 14 that it took a was for the Ganisa Kubo, get us at the weather, the Red Sea, go and land and alarm, or a city span. There was a cloud, a young and young of a pump for a wedding, he lost that people. The cloud moves from in front of them, the angel moves from Pankwaba, the angel to a point that all the people of the world are the to be the people of the world. The people of the world are going to be the people of the world. The people the world the cloud, Oh. 
God's providence. Is brought to us and is always sufficient for us. He always gives us enough. With the people of Israel, he gave them a providence in the form of bread by this and man. And there were clear instructions that were given to them. Take just what you need for when I and your household for the day, because should you take more, it will rot. Right now, our country is messed up, chaotic, and all sorts of things and riots that are happening around simply because there are those who wake up in the morning to take and take and take and take, hoarding from what should be for other people. And what happens? Situations rot. We are held captive by the narrative Gafaru Yasei A narrative that simply speaks to the empire. A narrative where the empire would tell people that we do not have enough. A narrative that is all about scarcity. A narrative that even when there's abundance of things, there is nothing. A narrative where people believe Dogobana in the presence of scarcity. Therefore, hold it and take and take and take. And when you want to hold stuff, you begin to be monopolistic. And when you want to keep up with being monopolistic, you begin to be destructive. And one who is violent. Look at where we are as a nation. Why? Because we fail to see the ultimate providence of God. We have become so much like giraffes. We want to be here and there. As we look back, we become Ababandu, Bafana Namasirayen, having selected amnesia. When we look back, we simply think, I will to Sasi Futa Vele Yiputa, Sasi Nalari Singa Yang, Uchong Yam Vukami Dogavana, I put this 200 days ago, Ubom Babunje, 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 and when you do that, you fail to realize in Doy and Wang Chiko Nam Sanj, Lenda Ukoyo. To Bob Mari, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Get rid of the narrative, Kafar. The narrative that makes you believe there's nothing more. We won't have enough. We can't carry on. Simply think, Dogobana, Baba Dolgatik, Lulanel, Baba Dolgatik, Tumtuli Taitetai, Lukukukia Saguamba, Luliens Kasifai, Lungamen Saguamba. And therefore, nothing, nothing, nothing makes us deserving of that providence or that grace of God. It is simply because of God's nature that we receive it. Life that indeed shows in the Bogbana, God has been with us. God has journeyed with us. I mean, there's various Egypts that we have all been through. There's various situations that we have all been through. If I were to ask everyone one by one, if I were to ask each one, if I were to ask each one, if I were to ask or tell you about the difficult situations I've once been in or tell you about the situations where the enemies were 
God has never left us. And the last one, I'm going to go to Sunday, I'll see you again, and I'll see you again. abundance. And the God who has carried us from way far, the God of our ancestors, the God of our mothers and fathers, our grandmothers and grandfathers, may that God carry you, my beloved stomach, from here on. Don't know what the future holds for us. I don't know where we are going as a nation or as a world. I don't know what will happen I don't know what will happen to this church. I don't know what plans God has for your own family, for your before your own life. But what I do know is that there is abundance in God. And as Paul says, His grace is forever sufficient for us. Tata genau, ogono tata, oguanelele, zute tanda zufukekseni. Uti si penga klanje ngo si songa se tu se mika nge mika. Uya si ngo koli ndo kopana. God gave you na izolo. God sustained you li pumi na ngalaze la yotoni. Ili ito oneza mkaka mutitu ndo kopana. Anga tuwa li going forward. Si siti kasi tandaza. Si mtelo mtito. Fo iziko zetu. Fo za banda basi amba nago. Fo za family zetu. Ze li zwele tu na ngo keli zetu. It is for us to give our trust in God. And should sing a yen in Londo Leo, since I want us to find a way to put a little bit of 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 a little bit of
but still struggle to find meaning and purpose in life. We indulge in dangerous and self-giving activities to dull their pain, their loneliness. Lord, in your mercy. We also pray for our country in a difficult moment. We pray for it in the time when even those resources that are supposed to be placed at the disposal of the poor, through the greed of the few, have been misused and maladministrated and have been directed to purposes that are self serving and also purposes that only benefit a few. We pray, O oh God, for the old church that in this time as we begin to reconfigure what it means to worship beyond COVID era, help us to take strides that are bold and courageous and careful and each of those steps be guided by gentleness and wisdom and care for your people. Teach us of God to be church in this moment. God, your grace reaches out to all of us. Strengthen us to live in a manner that the good news we have received may flourish and grow in us. And offering ourselves in your service where the last are first, the first are last. And there is grace enough, and that there is grace enough for all of us. And we pray that may we be agents of that grace in each and every day. Lord, in your mercy. This and many other things of God, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Friends, we want to say thank you for, for your courage and your boldness this morning that you are able to come and join us for worship. We thank those that are joining us from home and that have joined us to worship. We anticipate that you will give us feedback because we will use this service as a, as a test and as a way to reflect on how best we can then begin to render these services going forward. So please do speak to us, whether through the social, through social media or through getting in contact with any of the leaders of this church. And in that manner we will then reflect and then guide, that will guide our steps moving from this moment and forward. Please also look out, there is a foundation of our faith that's going to start in about a week and if you want to register, please do register in the next week. We would want to know and set up the appropriate Zoom and meetings for that. Please do speak to the office or speak to ourselves as the ministers or our pastor. And so friends, we thank you for this time and we pray God's blessing as we move into the week. We stand together for the benediction. You can't touch each other. We do the benediction in social, with social distancing. Did the benediction Sunday is Sunday is Sunday is a began again. So there is a connection at the end of the service. So this is how we got to take the connection as you leave. Came in through one door, you're going to leave through a different door. And as you leave, there will be um, a connection ball at the, at the entrance of the church. Please do give generously to God. If you're at home, this is the time to use Snapchat and to remember your honor and remember to thank God for the wilderness days that God has put you through. So, friends, we have come to this. Is there a closing game? Let's do the benediction and then we'll move into the closing game. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you to our Marcos and thank you to the team that has enabled this morning to happen. We now close with him. Guide your great Jehovah. Thank you.